So recently, I finished watching the uh, My Hero Academia anime, and just recently, I started catching up to the manga, and I'm currently on volume 5, chapter 37, 38. I just got done with the fight between Bakudo and U Urukata. I think her name is Urukata. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I've only seen the anime once in English, I'm gonna go back and watch it in Japanese. Just a couple of episodes, just to get a feeling from the Japanese voice actors and to the Japanese names. Yeah, I want to at least use the Japanese names, the proper names for the characters. But so far, from what I have seen in the anime and read of the manga, I really, really like this series. I have uh, two volumes, because of course, I started with volume four, I read the rest on Kits, Kits manga. But I read volume four, read this in a couple of days. I'm not a heavy reader, like I don't sit down and just read tons of chapters without stopping. What I did was I read this off and on while in school, like between like three periods and when I was bored. But then I really started getting into it, like, and then I uh, this, this, and then I started reading this volume and I started loving it. This, Really good. I mean, I definitely am rushing a bit. I, mean, I really want to catch it up. I'll admit it at. I'm rushing. I'm skipping. So I'm skipping a little bit. But I mean, I want to catch it up as quickly as possible because I'm. I'm I hear nothing but good things about it. I know Tekken started reviewing it recently. That was one of the things that was kind of like Tekken reviews are a lot of fun to watch. I really like watching them. So I, and I was like, I would get a catch up eventually, and I would just like do it, whatever. At this point, I might as well watch it. You know what I mean? If it's that, if the manga is that good at the moment, it's like the one thing like the uh, attacking who only review one series, he's choosing it. I've heard nothing but great things about it. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna get to it. I started reading the manga. It's really good. I'm loving it. I love, I love the concept of this series. I really do love the concept of My Hero Academia because it's not why it takes place in our world, but it has like all the quirkiness and like it, ha it has all the elements of something like it, it takes place in a fantasy world of a series like Naruto or One Piece. It has a lot of those very quirky elements with all the characters having their quirk, 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 quirk. <laughs> That wasn't even intentional. No, but, um, yeah, I mean, it, it really worked. Be, uh, you know, a lot of anime that take place in our world try to be more realistic. But like, what I like about this is that it takes place in our world, but it's not trying to be realistic. And I think it does that really well. It does that really well. I mean, the concept is simple, in case you don't know. I don't know why you wouldn't. But pretty much, like, uh, most of the world has developed superpowers. And they call quirks. And each person has a power. Like, I don't know, I guess a great example is, uh, one for all. Like, some of them are, like, fire ice. Like, some of them, the way they're named, like, you name your power. Like, from what I've understood so far, from what I've read, you name it yourself. Damn, I think I'm getting a sore throat. Oh, god damn, it really hurts to talk. Well, whatever, I'll finish this video first. No, but, um, I really enjoyed it. I really, really, it's really good. Uh, I enjoy the fight scene. Uh, my, what I like about this series the most, though, is Deku. Right, he's right here, the main character. Right here. The, 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 this bit. The fact that he's a little bit. In most shonen, especially in any shonen that follows the underdog formula, I'm gonna compare it to Naruto. Not that I'm comparing it to the theory, but this is just the easiest thing to compare it to. Naruto, like Deku, Deku, or whatever his real name is, I forgot his real name. Like, I would have to rewatch the anime, well, at least the first season, to really get a better grasp on it before I reviewed it. And I'm really sorry about that background noise, I'm in the city. No, but. Deku, Izumi, Izumi, no, Midoriya, Midoriya, 
Midoriya, I got it. No, but Midoriya is, it's not like about him, is, even though he's an underdog, he's an underdog, but he's not like an underdog that sucks at fighting, that has a lot of balls. It's actually quite the opposite. Unless, like, he's really put in a serious situation where someone is in danger and he has to save them, he is more scared than a five-year-old little girl. Like, the, like, you know, the, the female characters are braver than him. And in most the series, and in most shonen, it's really the guys are the, are the bravest, are more brave than most of the girls. No, he is literally a complete... He can be a complete coward, and that's what I like. He is more relatable, and so it's not like, oh, I suck at fighting. Like, it was Naruto was like, Naruto was weak. But he always had the balls to do this stuff. He was just stupid and weak. In this, it's like, one of the main characters is smart. That's who is smart. He, he has strategies. He either got uh, when his friend... Uh, Urukasa, when Urukasa is about to fight Bakudo, he, uh, in the chapter I just finished reading like an hour or two ago, before I decided to make this video, when she, when she was going to go fight him, he offered her, like, his entire strategy to win the fight, like, he, he, he knew, he couldn't beat, uh, Bakudo, he knew he couldn't beat Bakudo, but he still came up with an entire strategy, last minute, he said it was like last minute, but he gave her, he offered it to her. She declined it, of course, which was really good. As you can see, I'm kind of reviewing it already. It, by mistake, I'm just reviewing what I just read. But, I mean, I really enjoyed this series. And, it's the one series I've seen in a long time. That if I would, it seems like something I would want to, I would consider adding onto my plate along with One Piece. Now, I just want to point out, I'm back in school. So if I did start reviewing this on the One Piece channel, I will gladly review this theory quickly because I'm enjoying it. It does it. One Piece, a lot of the other series I read, I reviewed, like my Naruto reviews that I'm doing, those aren't necessarily a chore, but I'm doing those because I want to give my thoughts on the ending of a franchise. It's not because I want to do weekly reviews of it, it's because I want to have individual video where I review but the things leading up to the ending. Not because I feel passionate enough about the series to review it. I'm just, it's a weekly series. Not that I don't love these series, it just sometimes it can be a bit of a drag. It just sometimes has to review these with school and my other content I make with school, other things I do, just relaxing, homework it just it can get kinda of crazy sometimes. But my hero it's the one series that I saw on YouTube that I have read that I'm like, I like this series enough and I see enough potential in it for like discussion and enter and discussion and entertainment value that I could get to you guys and that I would enjoy that I would read it. That I would review it weekly. I really would review this series weekly. I really I I know I kinda of just rambling. But I want to ramble to you guys and kind of tell you, just give you an idea of how I feel about the series. I like it. In fact, I made you a video on it tomorrow. You expect if I can think of a topic that you know that is more broad. Like I'm not caught up, obviously, but I made you a video. I made you the first season of the anime. I made you something. I'm gonna do something. So guess what I could do? I'm only on chapter 38, right after the uh, Urukasa and the uh, um, Bakudo fight. So if you want to suggest a video that you guys want to see from me on you know all the material up until then, tell me and I can do something on it. Maybe we can do something really fun where you guys could give me something to do like speculation on, like something that we, you guys and I can like speculate on it like a complete idiot. And we can see how wrong I am. That sounds like a lot of fun. I think I may do that. As I'm catching up. But yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to read some more actually after this video before I go to bed. But I mean, would you guys like to see My Hero Academia review for me when I catch up? Like, would you guys like that?
I, I would personally like to review it, but I'm going to know if you guys would want to see it, because it would be, you have to understand, I'm in school, as I said before, it would be a hassle for me to review another series weekly. But I like the series enough that I'm willing to put forth the, put forth the effort to do that. So, if you guys are like, if you guys want to see those reviews, I will do it. But only if you guys want it, the otherwise, I'm just like working really hard to get out the One Piece and My Hero Academia review. And, and like, nobody's gonna watch it. But if you guys would watch my My Hero reviews, tell me in the comments and I'll do it. Like, gladly. But, and no, this is not something I want to keep adding to. Okay? It would be My Hero and One Piece. And these reviews would probably not start until Naruto ends. Or maybe, if I catch up before that, maybe I'll review all three at once. I don't know. I think I could probably juggle an anime episode, an anime episode live reaction and review, like a live reaction and a review with Naruto, a My Hero Academia review and a One Piece review. I think I could do that. I think I could do that just until Naruto ended. But yeah, I'm gonna. You know what? Throw it. You know what? I have all of. I'm gonna go to sleep, and then I'm going to catch up to My Hero next weekend. I don't give a shit. I'm doing it. And you guys want me to do a stream at all tomorrow telling me, but yeah, I'm catching up to my hero academia. I just not decided. I'm going to catch up to the entire series tomorrow, but you know what? The more I talk about it in this video, the more I realize I enjoy talking about this series. I enjoy talking about my hero, so you know what? I'm going to catch up, pro I'm hoping to catch up tomorrow. I'm hoping to catch up tomorrow. I'm, I'm on chapter like 38, there's like 107 chapters. I think I could probably do that if I really sat down and really booked it and just didn't do anything else. I think I could do that. So yeah, if that's the My Hero review, if you guys want them, tell me in the comments and I will bring you My Hero Academia reviews. And if you haven't, if you don't, if you haven't seen My Hero, if you're watching this video and you haven't seen it, watch it now. All right, I made the mistake of waiting. So now I'm like pretty, and now I have a lot of work to do. But it's a very short series. At the moment, it's only, I think it's on chapter 107. I'm not caught up and I'm trying not to be spoiled. So, uh, you know, stay away. You, know, you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but definitely check it out. Really good series. And I made you a season one review. I don't know. It's been like a week since I saw it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like. Comment and subscribe. Tell me in the comments. Should I review My Hero Academia? Yeah. My Hero Hype. My Hero Hype. Right? I mean, really. My Hero is amazing.